Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I'm Tyquees Beauty Tutorials. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for following me. And I also want to say thank you for watching this video all the way through. All right. And yeah, welcome to my channel. I am a beauty guru. Um, all things beauty on this channel, natural hair, makeup. I'm a professional makeup artist. I'm a hairstylist. I'm just a professional in anything I do. So, just saying. I don't know if that explains it. But anyway, uh, so right now, I'm showing you guys my work. I'm actually working on my client, Angela. And right now, this is what I do for starting a makeup video or, or when I'm doing a client's makeup. I first start with the brows sometime and sometimes I don't, but I like to start with the brows. Um, that's like something I like to do. I'm using the Cabral by Benefit and I think this is the number six. Um, and I'm using the, so I'm actually using, um, the concealer that I'm using is Tarte Shape Tape. Love it. And, um, this, this Tarte, um, Shape Tape number is this is um tan deep sand love this color or whatnot um so i'm just shaping up brows and then blending in the concealer this is a, this is the part this is the formation that i like to go when i'm um doing um brows i like to take care of it from you know this order this is the order i do so yeah i blend it in real good you know make sure it's the way I like it start with the bottom and then when you finish the bottom off you go to the top so as you guys see I'm shaping her brows like so and um, pulling that concealer around and up you know just making sure it's like not no um, extra product on the brow because then you know it can kind of leak you don't want that so yeah um mm, looking good already but Go back in sometime in the product if needed. You know, like if you make a mistake or something, you don't have to like do it all over again. That's too much. Go back into the product that you're using um, in the, the brow product and just fix it and go back over it a tad bit with a little bit of concealer, not a lot. You don't have to redo the brow again, okay? Um, you can like go back over it with the brow product, even just a little bit that you have on the brush already from the previous, you know, used it previously. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I hope I help you. If I help you guys, give me a big like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, so going back into that same concealer from Tarte, Shape Take Favorite, all right? Um, and come in and tag them in this video, okay? So they can send me some more stuff with that stuff. Yeah. Anyway. I like to put the Tarte underneath the eye and I like to bring it down towards the cheeks. Most people don't do it that way, but I like to bring it towards the cheeks and I like to bring it out a little bit more because I want her face to widen, you know? Um, some, when you're using a light concealer, it's to widen the face. It makes it wider. And if you use, you know, um, a little bit more um, warm colors or whatever you do if you go darker if you go a tad bit um like a uh, little bit more dense you're you're bringing the face together you know so sometimes when the client is a uh, um, darker you go lighter if they're lighter you go lighter okay so yeah you go lighter every time you want to bring it out you should go lighter you know um just that in itself you know it's and when you first do it, it might be scary, okay? Because you're you're matching, your skin tone matching. So the concealer, you know, should definitely be um, you should look at the concealer tones for as when you're when you're matching the foundation. The um as long as the concealer is actually darker, I mean sorry, not darker, but actually lighter than the um foundation, you got yourself a good work. So if I helped you. Give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. So now, um, putting the setting powder on there. All right, so this is the Fendi Beauty um, setting powder in banana. And I love 
Cindy. I love Fendi powder. I've been using her setting powder ever since she's been out because I couldn't find a perfect shade from using the foundation in the store. Never could. I got videos on it too. Um, but now I'm just like gonna purchase it because my clients can definitely wear it. And I can just give you guys a tutorial on that because I, I have seen like a ton of shades in um, the Fendi Beauty Foundation that my, a lot of my clients are. And I'm like, okay, so I just buy it and do a review on it like that. So um, I'm putting um, the eyeshadow on and the eyeshadow palette that I'm using, I'm actually using a Morphe eyeshadow. I think it's the Sweet Tea um, palette. This is the Morphe Sweet uh, 35T, 35T, all right? Um, look, this palette is a bomb palette. It's like, it's really nice. Oh, I'm actually, that I don't know the colors that I'm actually using, guys, um, by eye. Because this palette, oh, I use um, Feeling Saucy on... The eye first, which is like a purple color. It's like this purplish color. It's really nice. And then I use, I'm looking at the like scrapes that I made in this here. And then I use, um, uh, I don't know. It looks like talking glitz. I use talking glitz on the lid. Um, so I probably use more than one palette, guys. But the powder, I let the powder sit and I let that bake um, so that the remaining um, product from the eyeshadow that I'm applying to the lid, it can just fall off right there and I can just wipe it off with a brush. That's the way I do it because it's really easy to just wipe it away. So, yeah, girl. I'm actually using my Morphe brush. All of my brushes are Morphe and um, Real Technique. I use a lot of different brushes, but... Those brush that brush actually is in there getting clean, so I don't remember the name of the brush. Um, I don't know the number of this brush. So yeah, um, Fendi powder is really Fendi setting powder is nice for you know setting. It doesn't take a lot like I put there. You don't want don't do it the way I do. You might find another way to do it because different strokes for different people. You do like the according to the way I'm doing it. This is the way I do. It. Okay, so you don't have to do it this way, but you can do it like somewhat like this way. If you choose to get this look, just do the stuff that I'm doing in this video so you can get this look. Okay, um, yeah. So right now what we're going to be doing is removing um, the powder, removing the setting powder away from the face. Um, so I'm doing it like so, like so. But um, you guys also watch how it's so easy to just wipe the powder from underneath the eye. And then you can see how there's no color residue, no pigment on her skin, which is good because, you know, it's good powder is good to put a shield there so that the eyeshadow won't stain the foundation. You know, if you like to do your, found, you like to, you know, get, get your foundation or in your concealer before you you know, do your eyes. This is the way I think works. So after I'm done with the eyes, I like to go ahead and work on the contour. I do it just like that. That's how I do it. That's my order. That's what works for me. If you want to achieve this look, just do what I do here in the video you guys see. Now I'm got diving into the contour. And the contour that I'm using is by Anastasia. And this is the cream bronzer um hazelnut really like this contour on her it really it's a cream contour it's really nice it's a, a bronzer um i really like this on her because it wasn't too dark it was just right to kind of blend in with her color um and her shade of the foundation that we choose so i'm just gonna blend this in like so on her cheek um like from her cheekbones, I like to go just an inch underneath there and just blend, okay? But I do not like for the contour to touch, like, the cheekbones. We don't, that's too, if, you, if your contour touch your cheekbones, you, you're you not done. You need to blend, blend, blend. So now I like to kind of coat that with a blush. I like to put my blush on there and I like to blend that out as I go, right? 
I like to put my blush a tad bit above where you're going to definitely, I like to bring my blush up to my cheekbones, okay? That's what makes everything nice. So I'm going into the um, Benefit Brow Setter, Setter, which is new. It's amazing. If you haven't tried it yet, go try it. Everything that I used in the video would definitely be in the description box, so check that out. So this is a 24-hour brow setter that I'm using. And um, as you see, I like to take my Beauty Blender, which is by um, Real Technique. I like to take that Beauty Blender and just dab on the cheeks and the face you know and just kind of make sure everything is in there nice now it's time for the highlights now you know you want to make sure that you, you you try to blend it in a little bit with the blush so you don't look like a little ice cream you know you don't want it just sitting there it's it's good sometimes when it's your um brown when your um highlight come off too harsh you just need uh, just a tad bit more blending and you can just hit it with a beauty blender that's wet and it kind of tones it right you know it settles it into the skin and that's what you want now we're going to contour this nose get this nose where we want it where i want it to be and you know what i love so much about her is she just let me do my thing and i just i love that you know and she's like she she gives me an idea and then i she trusts me to take it wherever so best client in the world thank you so much um man i love her so much so now i'm just taking a little highlights on the bridge of the nose areas and yeah we blending out she already knows she's looking good girl she thought, already know she she snatched up in here so babe wait till we put this lipstick on now guys i am gonna tell you because um I didn't get a chance to take any pictures of her because we were so much in a hurry. But I did get some footage in the video at the end where you guys will see how this look turned out, which was amazing. It was nice. You also see me put on the mink lashes, which was so beautiful on her. Okay. Um, yeah, girl. And right now, I'm, you see I used the mascara. The mascara, it was the rolling mascara by Benefit rolling mask uh, roller lash um by benefit like this i love this i love this um using that um brat brush you can get that from orta not yeah orta but they don't they are completely out of it by now but you guys remember me if you want to see a review on the brats palette or the brats um brushes you guys go ahead and check it out i'm gonna put the links at the top and you guys can just check that video out. I got tons of videos for you guys to watch. Also, I think this is um, something new that I use. This is the NYX Professional Makeup um, uh, Eyeliner. And I love this waterproof eyeliner. It's nice. I think it's waterproof. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not, I don't really remember. I don't know if it's waterproof or not, but you guys see the glow that this leaves. But I'm going to go back in there a second time. Um, if you sharpen your pencils up, definitely if you guys, if you're a makeup artist, you should sharpen your pencils, your um, eye pencils after every use, okay? It helps keep it sanitized. And also, um, you know, even if you use it on yourself and you're using it all the time and you don't want the color to stay on there, just sharpen it up to remove it and go back in. But... In this order, I'm grabbing a brush and I'm just going back over what I already put on with the pencil, the eye line, the eye pencil. I'm going to take um, a shadow underneath the waterline so that I can um, make it more brighter. I want it to be more brighter. Look how nice everything came together. So um, just going ahead, finish up my eyes, guys. I don't want this video to be really long, so I'm kind of just speeding it up a little bit. So we use a setting spray, and the setting spray that I use is by Too Faced. I've showed you guys a hundred times. Um, I use the Too Faced um, setting spray, and um, it's very mattifying because she's going to be out in the sun. And she's going to be moving around. So whenever you're out and about and you feel like you're going to be doing more than what you're supposed to be doing or you, you normally do, you want to mattify that thing. Even foundation, you want to mattify your foundation. You want to mattify, you know, if you mattify your foundation, you don't have to mattify your um, concealer and you don't have to mattify your primer, okay? 
sometimes that's a mistake that most people make. They mattify their primer, then your foundation get the flaking off. You don't want that. And you definitely use mattifying products in the summertime unless your client's going to be doing extra stuff. So now, girl, you see me, put, I'm putting them lashes on, the minks. You guys are loving those. Go ahead and go to my website, check out, see what I got left on there. And you guys can purchase from there if you're um, wanting to know that. Um, yeah, so, um, girl, oh, they 100% mink, honey. Okay, subscribe to this channel so you can be keeping up with what I do. Um, so yeah, I'm just touch. I'm just bringing everything together now because that's what I do at the end. I like to blend and make sure everything is smooth. I don't like to see nothing like, you know, like if she lifts her eyelid up, you can see the crease. No, um, you're going to see a crease, but I'm going to put it there. So yeah, now we're going into this, um, lipstick that I gave her. I gave her lipstick, um, was, I gave, I like to give clients, my clients products. I do. Um, uh, I gave her my, um. The lipstick that I'm using on her is actually uh, by, who is it by? Juvia's Place. And that's my favorite, that red. But, you know, for me, it kind of gets to, um, it's it's good. I, I just love the, I love the way it freaking looks, okay? It's not my favorite for the formalization of it, but I really like this color. So I used that on her and I just gave that to her because I was like, girl, this color is so good on you and you might need it because it might come off. So, yeah. I always give them a lipstick or um, a mascara. So, yeah. Um, what else we doing? Now, um, it's coming towards this time where she, this queen finna look in the mirror, baby. And she ready. Girl, when she look in that mirror, baby, she, she get, let me tell you, baby, she become a whole different woman. She be looking, she be like, <laughs> so beautiful. I love the way this look came out. So beautiful on her. I just love it. She wanted me to put a little tag, a little peak, a little pinkish red underneath the eye, so I did. That's what she wanted, so I do. I let my clients look at themselves and tell me what they want. They want something extra, I do it. So, yeah, look how beautiful this look is. I mean, it's more like, uh, it's not subtle, okay? It ain't subtle, but it's, it's more so beautiful. You look beautiful. You look marvelous. Guys, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Bye.